So Matt, tell us about your commute into work this morning on a bike. Typical day for you. Uh, I get up at about 3.30 in the morning and I leave my house just after 4. Um, and there's not a lot of action on the roads beyond me and uh, wildlife, which is great. The only thing you really have to take care of is uh, not hitting a raccoon that's zipping across in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, it takes me about 25 minutes to get to work. Um, I ride every day from the west end of Toronto, kind of Christie Pitts area, down here to the CBC. Mm -hmm. And it's... Um, it's a beautiful ride. I mean, it's great when it's cold because you wake up very quickly on a day like today. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, the sky is this amazing color of purple as you're riding in. You see sort of the city coming awake. You see the life of the city kind of uh, filling the streets. And it's, uh, it's for me, the best way to get to work. Uh, and by the time I get here and I'm on the radio an hour and a bit later, um, I can tell if I've ridden to work or if it's been miserable and I've had to take a taxi. I feel like a different person if I'm uh, on the air having ridden it. Good morning. How long have you been commuting by bike to work and what made you decide to start commuting by bike versus taking a cab to the city or, you know, taking a car into work? I uh, have been riding to work in the city for as long as I've lived in Toronto. So in various jobs. Um, I've always ridden my bike to work, and for for me, it's it's the easiest way to get around. Um, it's quick, it's cheap, um, and in the work that I do, it's really important to actually see what's happening in the city, and you see the city unfold, uh, and you see the the life of the city in a very different way than you would obviously in a taxi, or even if you're walking, or obviously if you're in a subway or a bus. Um, I can see things over the corner of my eye as I'm riding along that might be just. Uh, casual kind of encounter of something but actually when you turn around to come back it's a really interesting development in the city it's kids who are doing something that you wouldn't expect them to do it's parents who are doing something it's people who are interacting in a way that you wouldn't see otherwise if you're just blowing along in a car um, and it's it's for me just a great way to get around to various parts of the city much of my job is spent talking about the city and talking about what's happening in various corners of Toronto and I spend a lot of time on this thing trying to kind of check that out firsthand you can do that from a distance or you can do it face to face and the easiest way to do it for me is to finish work at 11 30 in the morning and jump on my bike uh, and ride off and meet somewhere for lunch in a far corner of the city and do you find people recognize you when you're on your way to work in the morning or after work in the early afternoon yeah in the morning there's not really anybody who's out on the streets beyond me and the guys who are delivering newspapers but uh, in the afternoon for sure i mean i meet a lot of people who are um, walking around who are driving, who are also on their bikes, uh, who listen to the program and clock me from seeing my face on the side of a van or something like that. And that's great. Um, it means that uh, people know that I ride to work. I mean, I'm, I'm also somebody who has a car and I drive my car and I take transit a lot. Uh, but my primary mode of transportation, particularly in the middle of the week, is on my bike. And people know that and know that that's a part of how I see the city. And, and it's nice to be kind of recognized for that. Um, tell us a little bit about your commuter bike of choice and maybe some of the other bikes you have at home. Um, this is, uh, I love this bike. It's a single speed Kona. Um, it's not particularly light, but it is very quick and responsive and a little dirty right now. Uh, it's, um, it's a great workout because it's a single speed bike. So if you're riding up a hill, you need to uh, put yourself into it to get yourself up that hill. And uh, it's also the kind of bike that I don't feel, I mean, I have a couple of locks, but I don't feel bad about locking up because uh, I know that it's probably going to be fairly safe. I've had enough bikes stolen uh, to know that you need to be careful what you leave out. There's a bit of flash to it as well. Orange is my favorite color, so mm -hmm. I like that there's orange ones. Um, I have a road bike as well that I ride in the middle of the day, specialized, that's fantastic. And that's, again, a completely different purpose. That's more to clear my head um, and just feel uh, like I'm kind of just out exercising but also just kind of plugging back myself back into what the city actually is and the hum of the city and I ride it through ravines and up trails down along the water on long rides out of the city uh, and it's a different purpose I'm not again scoping out what's going on in Toronto it's much quicker and much more about me and being selfish uh, which is great but it's they're two different purposes but equally pleasurable and finally does the CBC have a bike parking station for you we do it's amazing downstairs um, this year they developed indoor parking for bikes yeah. which is a brilliant thing I've had a bike stolen from in front of the CBC before um, not 
that it was anyone's fault or anything like that. Except uh, the thief. Except the thief who <laughs> took it. Um, but it's great that there's space down there, that they actually made space, and that uh, if you ride in on a wet day, you can leave your bike there and it'll dry off. Or if you're riding home in the rain or the snow, uh, your bike is there waiting warm for you. And it's safe. It's, it's a wonderful space. And again, I think CBC, like a lot of other um, companies in this area, you have all these new buildings that are going up, recognize that people get around in different ways. So it's not just driving, um, and that they've actually taken space out from cars for bikes is a big step. It says a lot about how people get around in a modern Toronto. So it's, it's, it's wonderful for me. I love it. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.